I'm very happy to be here in this very <laughs> august assembly today. Somehow by the uh, kind invitation of Dr. Uh, Sumresh Bandopadhyaya, who is responsible for organizing this very wonderful program. Somehow we're here. So before we begin, I'd like to offer my pranam to my revered spiritual master, Astotara Sati Sri Srimad, Srila Gorgavinda Swami Maharaj, and my Param Gurudev, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, as well as to uh, the President Acharya of the Gaudiya Mission, who we're very fortunate to be in the association with today, Sri Srimad Bhakti Srid, uh, Paribhajak Maharaj, and also the Bhakti Sundar Sanyasi Maharaj, for putting on such a nice program. I find, I told him yesterday, uh, this program is just simply Chamatkar. Mm -hmm. And Acharya Sanskrit Ananda, who I think you came to our house a few years ago at Basu Ghosh Prabhu. We're very happy to see you again here. And uh, also to uh, Professor Dr. Umesh Chandra Dhube. We had the good fortune to meet something yesterday. And uh, Srimad Bhandu Ghora Brahmachari. I'm very happy to see you here. I've heard something about you before in your katas. Very, very nice. Dr. Guru Prasad Mahanti and uh, Shribad Bhakti Acharya Abhadut Maharaj uh -huh. and Dr. Su uh, Sukhendu Kumar Bhor and uh, Shripad Bhakti Bhai Bhav Pariyatak Maharaj. It's a very wonderful assembly. And also my dear uncle, uh, His Holiness Hanuma Prashek Maharaj, alias uh, Professor H. H. Robinson, who gave a very nice presentation yesterday. And Samasta Bhakta Vashreshta Jana, we're very happy to be here in your association. So we've been hearing something yesterday about some of the social benefits and the social teachings of Sri Sachinandana Gorahari and how wonderful it is. And we've heard something about some of the reasons therein why Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taken sannyas. So, in this presentation, I would like to raise a few questions about this sannyas. We'd like to, first of all, just ask, what was the necessity? If we want to understand something about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we should understand there's both a gona and a mukya karan, an external and an internal reason for whatever he's done. Kaviraj Goswami, he's described, Nija Guda Karya Toma Prema Svadana Anushange Prema Moya Koile Tribhuvana Mahaprabhu's Bahiranga Karan, his external reason for coming to this world was to, uh, to distribute Krishna Prem throughout the three worlds. But he also had an internal reason. And if we want to understand Gora Avatar, we have to understand something about that internal reason. And Gabriel says that his internal reason is very good, is very confidential. This is echoed in the language of Lochandas Thakur in Chaitanya Mangal. He says that I'll tell you many secrets. Such as Vairagya Adbhuta, the astonishing renunciation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, uh, Dr. Samaresh Bandhupadhyaya raised some good points about sannyas and the history of sannyas. I'm not a scholar, especially not a scholar of history. So I won't try to touch on that. But the Gita describes to us what is sannyas. It gives a definition in the 18th chapter, the second verse. Kamyamanam karmanam nyasam sannyasam kadayo viduhu. Sarva karma phala tyagam prabhus tyagam vichakshanaham. 
that when people give up material activities, uh, which are based on material desires, learned people call that sannyas. So, the Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they understand Jai Gora Se Krishna Se Jagannath. The Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Radha Krishna Nahi Anya is a combined form of Radha and Krishna. So understanding that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna, what is the necessity of his taking sannyas? Why did he take sannyas? This is a very good question. One reason is given in Chaitanya Bhagavat and in Chaitanya Charitamrita that Mahaprabhu saw that the common people weren't giving him respect, they weren't appreciating him. Sometimes they were criticizing him, and in particular the Brahmins. He said even they were criticizing Krishna, but they had some respect for sannyas. So that oh, if I take sannyas, then I'll be able to preach to them. But this is a Bahiranga Karan. This is the external reason of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's sannyas. There's a deeper, more internal reason. But to understand that, we have to understand something about Krishna and Krishna's nature. In the Hari Bhakti Surudoya, the Lord describes to Prahlad Maharaj his nature and the nature of Bhakti. Sada mukta opi badho ishmi bhaktena shne harajubi ajito pi jito ho piham tairavaso pi vasi kritam. He says that although I'm Mukunda, Sadam Utopi, I'm always liberated, I give liberation, still badhos me. I become bound up by the love of my devotees. Hmm? He tells Dravasamuni, Aham Bhakta Paradino, Yasvatantrivad Vija Sadhubir Grashavida Yobhaktir Bhakta Jana Priya, that I have no independence. I'm simply dependent upon my bhaktas. So we can ask, why did Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu take sannyas? But I would suggest a better question would be, how could he take sannyas? How is it possible? How could he leave Sachimata? How could he leave Vishnu Priya? Don't think they're common persons. Their love is so very, very intense. It's bound the Lord up. In the Chaitanya Bhagavat, before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu leaves home, he consoled Mother Sachi, and he told her at that time, Tumi se dharani